tonight and turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. First Corinthians chapter 6, we're going to start in verse 9 and read down to verse 20. The title of the message tonight is Bought with a Price. And if you will, stand with me in reverence to God's Word. Amen. Amen. Starting in verse 9, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Amen. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Meats for the belly and belly for the meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Amen. And God hath both raised up the Lord, and will also raise up us by His own power. Amen. Know ye not <clears throat> that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Yeah. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. Lord, we thank you tonight for your word. And Lord, we just pray that you would help us as we have met together here tonight to worship you in spirit and truth, that you would by your spirit enlighten not the eyes of our understanding. Lord, that you might impart to us your truth and your word. Lord, that we might see your power and be changed even unto your glory. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for how you work in our hearts and lives and how you lead us and direct our paths as we lean upon you and not on our own understanding. Amen. Lord, we just pray that you forgive us where we fail. You use me as your mouthpiece tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. So, tonight we are bought with a price by the precious blood of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen? Amen? And that price is a price <laughs> above all. Amen? What Jesus paid was above all. As the Bible says, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Amen. And he laid down his life for us. And he says in verse 9, he says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. And this we know is a biblical principle that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just as Jesus told Nicodemus, ye must be born again. Uh, that which is flesh is flesh and that which is spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. And so the unrighteous, those that are unrighteous, those that, that haven't placed their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And those who live by the flesh, he says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And so there is a distinct uh, line that is drawn of those who are righteous and those who are not. Jesus said, those, uh, he said, uh, 
uh, whosoever believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, Amen. because he has not believed in the name of the Son of God. And so, verse 11, and such were some of you, yeah. but ye are washed. So, that's the difference. Such were some of us. Amen? We're no different as far as uh, this flesh is concerned. But, he says, ye are washed. Yeah. But, ye are sanctified. Mm -hmm. But, ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And by the Spirit of our God. So, the difference is that we have been washed. Amen? Mm -hmm. We have been sanctified. We have been justified. By the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God. Look at Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. It says, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So all those who have not been washed, who have not been sanctified, who have not been justified by the name of of Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God is going to burn in a lake of fire which is the second death. They will not make it to heaven. If Jesus Christ paid for the sins of the whole world, then those who accept that gift have eternal life. Yeah. Those who reject that gift will have eternal damnation. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life, but the wrath of God abideth on them. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 2. And we're going to read from verse 1 to verse 10. says, and you have he quickened, Amen. made alive, Amen. Amen, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all, every one of us, had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfill, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, Amen. who is rich in mercy, for His great love wherewith He loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ by grace, are ye saved? Amen. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God. Not of works lest any man should boast. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works, which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. Yeah. So, and such were some of you. We were all, as He says here. He says, we all had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. You know, you say, well, why are we reading all these scriptures? We know this. Well, the Bible tells us that those who don't add to their faith uh, virtue, and the virtue knowledge, and to knowledge, uh, you know, you go over in 1 Peter and read all that. says he has forgotten that he has been what? Purged. Purged, amen. He has been bought. He has been washed. 
I didn't write this scripture down, but if I can find it real quick, I'll read it. See, as if, if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Amen. We need not to forget what we have been saved from. Yes. Amen. We need not to forget the price that was paid for our sins. Yeah. That we all were in times past the children of disobedience. Yeah. But God, who is rich in mercy, yeah. for His great love wherewith He loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened <coughs> us together with Christ. By grace are ye saved. Amen. Amen. And we know that by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah. So we are sanctified. We are washed from our sins and sanctified. And justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Look at Titus chapter 3. Oh, what thanks and praise and adoration it should cause in us for the price paid for our sins and for the liberty that we now have in Jesus Christ. Titus chapter 3. In verses 3 through 7 it says, For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which He shed on us abundantly yes. through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Amen. Amen. We were ourselves sometimes foolish, yep. disobedient. Deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But God, amen. Yeah. Don't you like that? Yeah. He says, but after the kindness and love of God, our Savior toward man appeared, not by our works of righteousness, amen, mm -hmm. but according to His mercy, yeah. He saved us. Yeah. By the washing of regeneration, in one place it says, by the washing of the word, amen, Yes. and renewing of the Holy Ghost, as Dad brought out the scripture this morning, that it is by the word of God that we receive the spirit of God, amen. 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 If you don't receive the word of God, you can't receive the spirit of God, amen. for his word is spirit, mm -hmm. and it is life, yes, it amen. Is. And we receive the word of God and therefore we have been given the spirit of God which washed us and cleansed us by the blood of Jesus Christ and justified us by his grace. Mm -hmm. Which he shed upon us abundantly, the Bible says, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. So we need to remember where we came from and what God did to save us from that damnation, yeah. that eternal judgment, that fire and brimstone which is the second death. Yeah. But He didn't just save us so that we could stay the same, amen? Mm -hmm. So that we would continue in the old man. He says in verse 15 of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Mm -hmm. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. Mm -hmm. Should we continue in the way that we lived before 
After we have been bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. No. After Jesus has shed his blood on the cross for our sins. No. God forbid. No. Amen. That's what he says. God forbid that we would continue in the way that we were. And not allow Christ to change us. No. Look at Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4 and verses 11 through 24 says that he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. What does that mean? That means that God's going to work on us. Amen. God's going to try to make us more. Like His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Amen. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. Amen. And of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Amen. He predestinated us, whom He foreknew, to be conformed to the image of His Amen. Son. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, mm -hmm. by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love, may grow up, Amen. God wants us to grow up. Yeah. Amen. He doesn't want us to be children. He wants us to grow up. Yeah. Get our big boy pants on. Amen. Uh -huh. Learn how to walk and talk and live in the spirit of Christ. Yeah. That we may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Yeah. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied. God wants us to be productive yep. members of His body. That's Amen. Right. Yep. He doesn't want us to be just lag, slack, slackers. Mm -hmm. Amen. He don't want us to be bench warmers. He wants us to supply. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yep. Not by our power, but by His. Mm -hmm. As I preach this morning, you just have to humble yourself and surrender yourself to Him, and then He will work in you. Amen? Amen. According to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. In the vanity of their mind. How are we supposed to walk then? In the truth and light of God's word. Amen. Amen. Having the understanding darkened. Being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Because of the blindness of their heart. Yep. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness. To work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. Yeah. Amen. I know you didn't learn that here. Amen. Nobody's up here preaching that now you're saved. You can just do whatever you want. Yeah. Amen. Right. <laughs> yeah. If you've gotten that out of my preaching. You're just hearing what you want to hear. Amen. Because <laughs> the word of God teaches that we are not our own. No. Yeah. We are not to live as we want to now. We need to submit ourselves to God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard Him. Not me. Amen. Mm -hmm. And have been taught by Him. Not me. As the truth is in who? Jesus. Jesus. This morning again Brother TJ brought out in the Sunday school lesson. <laughs> who's the word? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Then who's it all about? Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's simple, amen. Yeah. Yeah. We just get a hope of it. Yeah. That he put off concerning the former love or former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt 
according to the deceitful lust. Mm -hmm. He's talking to save people mm -hmm. here. Yeah. yeah. If you think your flesh is great now because you're saved, you're deceived. <laughs> Amen? Mm -hmm. No, he's saying that old man that you carry around with you is still corrupt according yeah. to the deceitful lusts. Yeah. Amen? And such were some of you. Yeah. The only difference is you have now the Spirit of Christ that dwells in you. Yeah. And you are to live in the Spirit and walk in the Spirit so that you won't fulfill the lust <coughs> of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. And be renewed in the Spirit of your mind. How? By the Word of God. That's yeah. right. And that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yes. In that spiritual man that God has put within you. Amen. Walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Think about a song me and Rena used to listen to when we were kids. And it ask a great question. Do you love the Lord? Are you taking the time to be reading His Word? Do you trust and obey each and every day? Tell me, do you love the Lord? That's where it comes down to. Yeah. If you love the Lord, then you're going to be reading His Word at each and every day. Amen. You're going to be walking in His Word and you're going to be trusting and obeying. Amen. Amen. Walking in that new man and not in the old, with the old conversation. Look at Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 23 through 33. It says, For the husband is of the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Yeah. Amen. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So whose church is this? Jesus. It's his. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what did he do for it? Died. He died. He gave himself for it. Amen. Yeah. Yes. So who are you responsible to? Not me. You're responsible to Jesus Christ. Yeah. That he might sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Yeah. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Yeah. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord, the church. Ye have not so learned Christ. Mm -hmm. If ye have heard from him, amen, and learned by him. Why? Because it's him that nourishes us wow. in the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh mm -hmm. and of his bones. Yeah. Know ye not that ye that your bodies are the members of Christ? Well, I'm going to tell you what we need to think about that, don't we? Mm -hmm. What do we drag Jesus through in our lives? Amen. Yeah. If our member, if our bodies are the members of Christ, He said here, for we are members of His body, of His flesh, and of His bones. Then what we do outside these walls matter. It does. It? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because just because we dismiss from this church don't mean that we are dismissed as the body of Christ. Yeah. You are still a member here. What you do reflects on the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. True. What do you do in your life or allow in your life that you wouldn't do if Jesus was physically present with you? Yeah. You need to remember that He is present with you just spiritually. Amen? Mm -hmm. And that where you go, what you do, what you say, what you allow yourself to meditate upon, you're doing as a member of His body. Yeah. 
That's a sobering thought, is yes. it not? Yes. But doesn't the Bible tell us to be sober mm -hmm. and vigilant? Mm -hmm. We need to think that way. Yes, Amen. we do. Soberly. Not to live as, as the world does and, 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 and be asleep spiritually. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ in the church, and so do I tonight. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Amen. Yeah. And as that is said, we need to reverence our Savior, yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. And not drag him through the mud. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because we are his. And we belong to him. We are members of his body. And we need to conduct ourselves as such. Amen. And remember who we belong to. Amen. Amen. And I know I've given this illustration. Rena has too. About our dad. When we would leave the house. Remember who your father is. I'm going to tell you what. We need to keep reminding ourselves that. Amen. Amen. Whatever household you're in, remind each other, hey, remember who you belong to. <laughs> and if they've forgotten, let them know. Yeah. Because we stand before Him. Amen? And we are, uh, we, the word I'm looking for has slipped my mind. But He is our head. Amen? And so what we do reflects on him whether you like it or not yeah. amen just as what the wife does reflects on the husband mm -hmm. amen yes yeah. what we do reflects on our lord jesus christ we're not supposed to reflect on him he's supposed to reflect on us yeah. amen yeah. and through us just as i said this morning to decrease that he might increase yeah and thirdly as we've been saying all night, he says, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Yeah. That should be our desire each and every day is to glorify God. Yeah. Yeah. Not just in spirit, but in our bodies. Mm -hmm. Because we belong to him. Yeah. Look at Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9 and the verses 11 through 14 it says but Christ be, being come or like I like to say becoming <laughs> and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say not of this building neither by the blood of goats and calves but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Praise God. Yes. Amen. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and of the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctifying to the or sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit Offered himself without spot to God. Purge your conscience from dead words to serve the living God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God is able. Amen. Mm -hmm. God is able if we will just humble ourselves. If we'll just be that living sacrifice yeah. that he asked us to be. God will use us. And we will have the victory through Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. 1 Peter chapter 1. First Peter chapter 1 verses 17 through 21 it says, And if ye call on the Father, who, with, who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here, in what? Fear. In fear. Yeah. Amen. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed 
with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ yeah. as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. Yeah. Let's keep reading. Seeing ye have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. Being born again, not a corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of of God, Amen. which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord <coughs> endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached yes. unto you. Amen. Amen. So, we have been bought with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. 1 Corinthians 5.21 says, And uh, he became sin who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in mm -hmm. him. Yeah. And then tonight I end with what I ended this morning in Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2. And you can stand with me as we read. says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy. That means separate. Yep. Amen. Acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Yeah. If you're going to be a living sacrifice, it has to be holy. Yeah. And it has to be acceptable unto God. And by that, it means... His way and not your way. Yeah. Amen. Which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. We are to prove the will of God. Yeah. We are to continue being transformed. By the renewing of our mind. Because we can revert easy. Right? Mm -hmm. We can go back to the way we were easily. All we have to do is stop being transformed. But as I, the song that I sang this, in this morning's message. He's still working on me. God's still working on us. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And if we'll continue in his word. And continue walking and living in his spirit. Then he'll continue transforming us. Yeah. More and more into the image of Christ. That we might prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you tonight for your word. We thank you for your spirit that works in our hearts. By the preaching of your word. By the studying of your word. Lord, we just pray that we would continue in those things. Grounded and settled. Lord, that we would not be moved away from them. But Lord, that we would have our hearts fixed upon you. Lord, that we would continue to look upon you, the author and finisher of our faith. Lord, for the joy that was set before you endured the cross, suffering the shame. Lord, help us to be a living sacrifice each day, giving ourselves to you that you might use us knowing that we are members of your body. Yeah. And Lord, that we are to be ambassadors for Christ. That we are to be witnesses of reconciliation. Ministers, Lord, for you. And help us each day, help this church to grow. Help us all to be transformed even more each day. So that we might live a life that is pleasing to you. And that we might all be preachers of the gospel. Lord, forgive us where we sin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
in songs and celestial life strings. It unseems only falls over my soul like an infant in calm. Yeah. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Sweet Let no power can mind it away yeah. while the years of eternity roll. Yeah. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit forever, I pray. wonderful peace resting sweetly in Jesus control for I'm kept from all danger by night and by day and his glory is flooding my soul Amen. peace peace wonderful peace coming down from the Father